right now from the Virginia Shooting Sports Association. Very pleased to have with us uh, Legislative Director Dave Adams. Dave, how are you, sir? I'm great. Just waiting for Turkey Day tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Uh, and then I, I think we're going to have another interesting day on Monday in Virginia uh, at the University of Virginia, a, uh, a, a gun control summit. It's the forum uh, scheduled for the afternoon at the UVA Law School uh, where they're going to roll out some proposals. Apparently there's a, been a group of folks, uh, and not surprisingly, there's not a pro-gun person among the group, uh, have been working on some proposals they think will address um, what they call gun violence at the state level. And then next week uh, or the following week, uh, they will roll out some proposals in Washington, D.C. for the federal level. Okay. Now, we don't know what proposals uh, they're going to recommend here, Dave, but uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict uh, that uh, we will have seen many of these proposals before. Yeah, in fact, uh, Richard Bonney, who's a law professor at UVA, actually talked to folks and said that uh, one of the things they want to do is, is expand background checks. Okay. Uh, and, of course, I think we'll also see uh, where they're going to be talking about people with mental illness. Uh, but it's interesting that he made a comment uh, to uh, folks at UVA that were, it was kind of a Q&A on the UVA Law website, uh, where they, um, he said that only 4% of gun violence is committed by people with mental illness, so they don't want to stigmatize people with mental illness. They want broader uh, proposals that will address gun violence. Yeah, one of the uh, things that they talked about in terms of background checks, I understand uh, Professor Bonney said, uh, we think the background check system can be improved by focusing on certain classes of people with histories of convictions for drunk driving and violent misdemeanors. Exactly, yes, and that's, that, that should raise eyebrows of everyone. Uh, you know, typically, with the exception of domestic violence uh, misdemeanors, you are not prohibited from owning a firearm if you've had um, anything other than a felony. Yeah. Um, now, we're also going to see uh, the lieutenant governor-elect, uh, Ralph Northam, uh, at this event on Monday, right? He's delivering a keynote address. Uh, he'll kind of kick things off. And then uh, you also have Senator Don McEachin from Richmond, who is an NRAF-rated state senator, uh, is going to be participating, as well as Lori Haas who we all know was just recently appointed to Governor-elect Terry McAuliffe's transition team. Right. Is, is there, and I know this is, uh, this is called a public forum hosted by the Consortium for Risk-Based Firearm Policy, which I, I have to confess, Dave, I'm, I'm not uh, all that familiar with. But uh, are there any, any, any speakers who are, you know, in favor of the right to keep and bear arms slated not to appear that, on Monday? Not that I have seen, no. And, in fact, based on what I can find about the so-called consortium, there's not a single person uh, that you could even remotely uh, say is associated with the pro-Second uh, Amendment side of the issue involved with this group. Really? Not a single uh, one, huh? Not a single one that I can see on their list of people participating. And I presume that everyone that's participating is part of the so-called consortium. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll be paying attention to it. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what this is uh, going to be about, given that this is held, uh, you know, at the University of Virginia. You would, you would think, Dave, a uh, public institution, a bastion of higher learning, uh, and particularly one that has the reputation uh, uh, like the University of Virginia, would actually want to have a, you know, a, a debate or a discussion featuring more than one side. You would think, but from what I can tell, uh, they already know what their recommendations are. So this event is to uh, actually release their report and also have some people speak on, I guess, the specific issues or specific proposals they're going to be laying out at this forum. It will be live streamed, uh, and VSSA has put the link to that live stream uh, on their blog. Uh, and people can get to that by going to our main website, myvssa.org, and just click the little icon on the top right corner, the little blogger icon. It will take them right to our blog, and they can get that link, and they can watch this uh, event live from 1.30 to 5 on Monday afternoon.
All right. Dave Adams, thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program. Have a, a very happy Thanksgiving to you, sir, and hope we get to see you again soon. You too, Cam. I hope you enjoy your uh, few days off and eat lots of turkey and pumpkin pie. Oh, thank you. I plan on it. All right. Dave Adams of the Virginia Shooting Sports Association.